Want to take your wedding photos to the next level? Let's go! Hi guys, this is Mark from Tree Studio. So in the last time, we talked about how to make your wedding timeline. And in this episode, we're going to discuss photo tips to help all the bride-to-be to get better wedding photography during the morning preparation. So as a wedding photographer, after shooting weddings for numerous years, I definitely would agree that there are some unknown facts that every bride wish to know prior to their wedding. So today, I will start with covering how an organized morning can affect your morning getting ready experience, as well as 5 tips for better wedding getting ready photography. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I want to start with is how much an organized wedding timeline can affect your morning getting ready experience. I know we have probably discussed this probably a million times by now, but just imagine if your makeup is not finished yet when your wedding photographer has already been there waiting for you for half an hour. And just before, and just when the makeup is finished, it's then time for you to have for the ceremony. So that was just a um, the worst, the worst case, but the idea is to plan the right time for your makeup wedding photography. And other things, for example, if you got cultural rituals before your wedding ceremony, then talk to your wedding photographers and plan to make a time slot for that as well. But the idea is to leave one and a half hours for your wedding photographer so he can take enough wedding photography for you without rushing you in the morning. So a um, happy and relaxed vibe is all that matters for great candid wedding photography. So let's get started with the 5 tips for wedding photography. Um, the first tip for better wedding photography is I advise the bride and bridesmaid to wear a robe in the morning when I arrive. And normally, I'll let them pop a champagne in the robe. It's not only safer to do that for the girls wearing robe instead of wedding gowns. And when in robe, I'll be able to get some more candid and relaxing photos at the same time. And for my experience, I'll usually suggest the bride to do the shoe shot when she is in her robe. That way, the robe allows her to easily bend down and reach her shoe so I can capture some really detailed shots for the bride's shoes and her cur curves on the leg. And later on, when she's in her dress, we can take extra shots of the bridesmaid, helping our bride to sh get the shoes on. And the tip number two is if you want to do a father-daughter shot, talk to your wedding photographer and arrange a spacious location with good background while hiding your dad outside. And when you finally get to see each other, just let your emotions take over and I can take some real emotional moments. A tip number three is for bright single portrait shot, I suggest using high key wedding photography style. It means we need to find a bright and simple backdrop. And number four is in some tradition, there will be special ritual going on after the morning preparation before the bride leave, the leave to the ceremony. For example, drumming for the Lebanese or kicking the gas for the Macedonians. In that case, talk to your wedding photographer and arrange more time for the wedding preparation. And the last tip is if you have one wedding photographer to shoot the wedding bridal getting ready, then I would advise to let him leave 15 minutes earlier than the bride. So in that case, he'll be getting like enough time to set up in equipment as well as shooting the guest entrance at the ceremony. And lastly, for those who is looking to book an Airbnb for your morning preparations, congratulations, you are just halfway to make your wedding photography to the next level. But yes, there is a big but. Do choose a place that is good for taking photos. And how? Stay with me. So before we start to review some Airbnbs online, let me just start with some basic outlines. The view is important, but also do take account of the space of the Airbnb. Try to avoid a place that is overly decorated with lots of stuff filled inside the place. For wedding photography, a cleaner background is always better. And don't be afraid to move stuff around to create a cleaner backdrop. In fact, to achieve candid wedding photography, I will usually clean out a larger place for the bride. So rather than positioning her in a small area, I will arrange a bigger space so she can keep moving for candid moments. And lastly, if you see a nice place but the price tag is a bit higher than you expect, 
Just do it, cause your wedding only happens once, and same as your getting ready photos. So if you see a nice place that you truly fall in love with it, just go with it, and you will be you won't be regretting it. So recently, one of a bride who is about to get married has sent us a link of her Airbnb to let us review if the property is good for wedding photography. In the first side of the living room, we can see it's um, filled with natural lighting and it's quite spacious. And it's got lots of wood floor to ceiling windows and facing directly towards the garden. So going over here, we can see the big windows and it's a definitely a great spot with good lighting. So um, whenever you are starting to do the makeup in the morning, you can sit in just next to the window. And then after your makeup, we can do your bridal bridal gowns wedding photography by just hanging the dress just on the window or even if you have got a mannequin we can just position the mannequin next to the window and do some wedding photography with good contrast so also the greenery plants within the living rooms can also make up a very good background for your wedding photography so I'm loving the colors of the sofa and the big size of the sofa also let you can let you to chill out and sit on the couch while chatting to each other and I can take some really candid wedding photography. Moving down, we can also see the living room has also featured a very nice table with very modern look. So um, not only this this table over here or the coffee table near the sofa, um, they all provide a very good background for the accessory photos. So we can just put um, the bride's invitation card, rings, and necklace on, on the table and they make up a very good backdrop for the accessory photos. So now we are moving down all the way to the kitchen and we can see the kitchen features a very modern and clean look with uh, mainly white and black brown color. So um, the kitchen will be a good area for some um, like champagne shots so you can position all the girls here and do some, do some very fun candid popping champagne shot over here and then we can move in, in to the bedroom for the um, for the formal bridal getting ready so we can see um, this bedroom one features a very nice window with a window seat next to it the only problem is twin size bed is sitting over here they do actually take up a lot of space so which means um, it, will, it will be no good for a full body shot inside the bedroom one um, however, before the bride is actually jumping into her dress, we can let her to sit by the window and do some like shoe shots or just detail shots of her putting on her rings, etc. So moving to, from um, the bedroom 1 to the bedroom 2, we can see it's been already filled with lots of baths. So, so probably this room will mainly be used for um, accommodations for your bridesmaid. And the bedroom 3 is also pretty good for the wedding photography in my opinion. Um, firstly, we gotta discuss the um, interesting wallpaper over here which can definitely make your wedding photography pop out. Also, and also features a hanging plant on the corner with a chair underneath so um, we can let the bride just simply sit here in her robe before she actually get, get dressed up and do some um, putting on shoe shot or holding a glass sitting over there with natural lighting coming through it will be also very interesting however um, yeah the bed here is also taking up quite a few space so uh, one one thing we can do is to move around this this bed and so um, that way the that way the bride will be getting more space so for candid wedding ph photography um, the idea is to let the bride, instead of let the bride just stand there and take in photos, um, we usually advise our brides to take a little bit walk around inside the room to achieve the candid wedding photography. However, this room, um, although this room is quite nice, but um, for a full body shot after the bride's getting dressed up, I would still recommend to bring the bride out into the living rooms for more photos just near this window to take a full body shot and also this space will be quite nice if um, if it end up raining on the day and we can do some family photos so that's all for the review for this Airbnb property so if you have got any um, ideas for your own getting ready place when you are choosing an Airbnb you are more than welcome to contact Tree Studio for some opinions 
on wedding photography at the Airbnb. So that's all for all the getting ready photo tips. This is Mark from Tree Studio. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.